Hi, I'm Meredith Tomlinson, and I'm here today with Debbie Bettendorf of Find Your Fabulous, and we're here to talk to Debbie about her fantastic business, all that she does, and how she got started. So thank you so much for joining me, Debbie. And thank you, Meredith, for giving me the opportunity to talk about my business. I, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, there's so much that you do. So share with us how you founded Find Your Fabulous, and what's that evolved into today? That's a good question. About eight years ago, I was trying to find my way. Um, loving being a mom full-time, um, had not been in the workforce for a long, long time, did a lot of volunteer work, was, you know, Junior Civic League and all of the rest. Loved it, and then I found myself in a new chapter. And um, I had a trip with girlfriends that I went to, out to LA, had a great time, had been thinking about starting a business in fashion, styling, because I enjoy it, and I really enjoy working with women. Um, and making people feel fabulous. And so on my way home, I was on the plane with a lady from LA who was on her way to Columbus along with me. And I told myself, I'm not gonna talk to anybody on the plane because I have a tendency to chat people up, <laughs> shocker. And I'm like, I'm not gonna say anything. So this gal, her name was Gail, who lived in LA. She started a conversation with me. She's like, well, what do you do? What do you do? I said, it's interesting that you ask. You know, I've been wanting to start this business and I actually have a name for it and everything. And she said, well, why aren't you? And I said, well, I don't know. I, I fear. I, it's fear of failure. Mm -hmm. And she was like, listen, you don't want to be old and unable to do things someday and look back on your life and say, wish I woulda, shoulda tried. If you do it and it fails, at least you tried. And she even worked for a place called Camp Powermet that was covered in Oprah Magazine and on, on the Oprah Network where women go to find who they are. And it was, it was so empowering to talk to her. And I started it. I started it. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna kick fear's ass and I'm gonna go for it. And you know what? It's been a lovely journey. When it started back in 2014, I said, okay, I'm gonna work with women one-on-one -on -one and help them find their fabulous. And it's, I've talked to you a little bit before, fabulous isn't about the clothes. And I've learned that more and more on this journey. Fabulous is here, mm -hmm. and you believing in yourself and loving you, and that way it doesn't really matter what you put on, you're gonna look fabulous and you're gonna own it and you're gonna be confident. And so it, it went from personal styling to um, doing groups of women, you know, like pashmina parties and fun stuff like that, to Martha Tenedo, who works for Ohio University, calling me and saying, what do you think about talking to my students about what to wear for an interview and preparing. I'm like, okay. And then that escalated into other avenues and other schools calling me to come and, you know, give presentations. And um, that's kind of how it evolved and it, and it grew that way. And so, yeah, it's been a, such a, such a journey and a pleasant one. And I feel like I've grown through it as well. So. Well, and something that you mentioned, and I think is super important to point out, is that it's not about the clothes. Yes. And it's about, you know, empowering women and looking inside yourself. Yeah. And through that has inspired you yourself to do... I know. Even more. Even so more. So share a little bit about that. Yes. So, um, once again, digging deep and kicking fear's ass, I have been working on a book. And the goal is... To have the book published and ready for sale by uh, this Jan well January, January 11th to be specific. So I'm really excited about it. I feel like this is exactly what I need to do. The book is nonfiction. It's not a novel. It is a. It's a. I kind of compiled a lot of nonfiction short stories that I've written, and quotes that I've written, and it'll be one of those books where you can put it on your coffee table you can have it on your nightstand and just pick it up at any point and read that message and get something from it get some type of inspiration some type of motivation or something funny i have a little bit of my humor in it i mean i can be a goofball you know so um i just i'm really excited about this new journey i really am
Well, I'm super excited for you too. You. And to be here in a small town of Chillicothe and to yeah. do so much, to make yeah. so much Thank of you. an impact, I think is Thank fantastic. You. I appreciate that. Um, Debbie, what are some of the things that you enjoy most about, you know, within Find Your Fabulous? You know, yeah. you, you've done, you've worked one-on-one -on -one with clients in group settings. Yes. For those that don't know, what are some of those highlights? Right. So, um, my favorite thing to do is, I do like working one-on-one -on -one with women because when you work with appearances, you learn a lot about them, they learn a lot about themselves, and you learn a lot about yourself in the process. Working with appearances, they have to be unguarded and let it out, and they're trying on clothes in front of me, and they're getting my opinion, and I'm giving them, and it, and it turns into a real friendship. All of the clients that I've had um, that I didn't know prior, we get together and it's so to the core and real that ugh, it's really empowering and we've stayed in touch and you know almost like a friendship there I love that part but but what it does it does take a ton of time um, me just being one person giving an eight-hour day to one person it's really difficult to share what I have to offer and so when Martha Tenedo got me involved with doing presentations and different schools and all like that being able to go in and talk to the masses and make an impact hopefully that they get something from what I'm giving them because I certainly love every group I've worked with whether it's a group of girls on a um, doing a pashmina party or if it's a group of girls that I'm styling or doing a fashion show which I've done downtown before um, a couple of those I hope that they also get something from it but I do want, that's why I think the book comes in. The book's coming in because I feel like I have a lot to say and I have things to share and I may write another one. It may be something completely different along the same lines, like from the heart. And I'm really, I, I'm real about that. Like, I'm not just, I know a lot of people may feel like, oh my gosh, a lot of inspirational stuff that's kind of like a load of crap. But um, you know what, maybe, we need it more than we think yeah. and so uh, it means something to me and it's coming from my authentic self and this is how I'm going to reach more people um, outside of Chillicothe or outside of Columbus area so that's kind of like the tip of it if there were more of me I would work with people one-on-one -on -one all day long but I, I feel like there's more for me yeah. and that's why I'm going for it well, I love it, Debbie. I love all that you're doing, and um, you're you're inspiring. You're positive, yeah, especially you. for women. Thank you so and, much. And like we talked about before, especially you know, in younger girls, sure. and really starting that from an earlier age, right? Um, and inspiring them, and, and teaching them to be positive and, and kind to each other. Right. I think is super important. Oh, I do too. So thank you for all that you mm -hmm. do, and I look forward to to learning more about the book as that's yeah. going to roll out. Yeah. And. Um, you guys stay tuned because Debbie's going to yeah. be doing some super fun things with some women downtown. Yay! Um, We're planning and some it. Shocking experiences. So stay tuned, guys.